One of the challenges today in our Christian community is that we forget to pass on the baton in the proper way. Si Dr. Cesar Punsalan made a good dissertation of this. Uh, ang kanyang title ng dissertation niya, Pastor Nathan, ay ano? Si Dr. Punsalan, yung passing the baton, succession. Succession. Di ba? Leaders today are like banyan trees. You know banyan trees? There's a saying, under banyan trees, nothing grows. When our leaders die, they are like banyan trees. No one to succeed them. Say to this, to your seatmate, don't be a banyan tree, friend. Banyan tree is the national tree of India, you know that? And read the mentoring uh, by Hayfords, the author is Hayford, something like that. He wrote a book entitled Mentoring Tree. And I read there in that section, during Alexander the Great time, he invaded the West, either east, going eastward. And now he comes into the frontiers of India. And I read that, I was amazed that 7,000 men of Alexander the Great army, soldiers ni, uh, ni Alexander the Great, rested, 7,000 ha? Rested under a banyan tree. Grabe oh, that book, Mentoring Tree, you know? You, you find that elsewhere. Makita niyo. So don't be a banyan tree. No, but be an aspen tree. Ano yung aspen? Saging yun sa atin sa Amerika, maraming aspen tree eh. Merong sumusulpot. Uh -huh. Now, we see, the, we see this in the life of Moses, in the context of, you know, the succession. God is clear to his mind that Moses is out of the picture. Now, who will lead these people to continue on God's plan to establish a nation that he calls his own? the promised land, so that these people will reflect who God is in their lives. And this nation will become a testimony to all nations. He chose Joshua. So give him a salute. He's a five-star general. Sabi natin ay Joshua. Joshua. And he divided the land. Okay? And say divide, want to ready go, just, 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 uh, uh, dividing the land. It's like just make a, you know, a, 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 a sharp cut in front of you and say, divide. Okay, divide. 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 And say, conquer. conquer. Okay, Joshua. Joshua. Yeah. Divide. divide. Conquer. conquer. And he divided the land into 12 tribes. Say, 12 tribes. 12 tribes. Okay, one, two, ready, go. 12 tribes. Slice this into 12, 12 tribes. And then, God instituted the start of, of the leadership of judges. There are 13 judges in the scripture. Okay? 12 tribes all together, go. And say, judges. Judges. Say, Deborah. Okay? Deborah, a long hair. Okay? Deborah. Could I look at that beautiful hair? Tignan ko nga mga babae muna. Deborah. Ladies first. Uh, huwag kang mahiya. Kayo ang mag uh, nito kasi uh, one, two, ready, go. The ladies. Very good. How about the boys? Okay. Deborah. Oh, ayan. Huwag kang bumigay. Huwag kang mahiya. Alright, Deborah. And then Gideon. Okay. Wonderful uh, story of Gideon. Okay. He makes sure that he is the one. Okay. Chosen by God. No? There's nothing, no, going back to God and asking some clarificatory questions. Yeah. Lord, if I am the one whom you choose to be the judge of Israel, let me do this. He's trying to fix and help something with his help. Now, we know before that experience of the fleece, okay, the wool fleece, experience of, you know, asking God to do it twice, right? You know the story? He already knew that he is the God's uh, anointed, one of God's anointed judges. He knows that, but he makes sure of that. And you know the story? He had 30,000 men against nearly 1 million, his enemies, and God said, too many, too many. Go to the brook, go to the stream, and allow your men to drink. We know the story. How many people or, arm or, or soldiers did, did uh, Gideon 
they drank from that stream like a dog. Out of 30,000, 20,000. So left, 10,000. Uh, we know the story. Oh, by the way, the sequence of the story is this. 30,000, he announced it. Those who are afraid, go home. And, and 20,000 went home. 10,000 remained. And at that 10,000, God asked, asked Gideon to allow his men to, to drink in the stream. And you know how many people, how many soldiers he had drunk like a dog? How many left? We know the story, 300. So 300, kaya mayroon tayong Gideon 300 eh. So we say Gideon, just like, uh, you know, uh, scrolling, no? Like this, the wolf fleece, okay? Say, uh, Gideon, Gideon. Gideon. Yeah. Who is this? Okay, and then Gideon. Samson. How do you describe Samson? Strong. He was a Nazarite, by the way. No, he rejects any strong drink, especially those fermented, strong fermented um, sodas or wine, we call. Huh? So, how do you describe Samson? You know, it is also an example I see, beautiful. I, I, I take this as an example, a classic example for couples whose wives are manipulative. You know? They use their tears. You look at the story. Okay, Delilah cried 24-7. You know that? You notice that? Yeah. What is your secret? Why you are so strong? And, and, and Samson said, okay, next question please. What is your secret? Every day yan, umiiyak yan. So wives, reminder for you, you can manipulate, control your spouses by your tears. No, 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 yon, ha? Grabe, ha? Oh, hindi iyakan, no? Hindi mo lang mapagbigyan, iiyakan ka, para kang namatay na. Parang ano ba yan? Anyway, okay, so say, Samson, one to ready, go. Samson. Okay, Joshua, one to ready, go. Joshua. Aha. Yan na. Divide. Divide. And? Samson. Now, now, the book of Judges ended with a very horrible, no? Because this is now we call one of the darkest history of the Judges. In Judges chapter 21, verse 25, it says, Everyone did what was right in his own eyes. How about you? If you live in that kind of society, everyone did. This is an offshoot of what we call in the modern terminology, postmodernism. Are you aware of the effects of postmodernism right now? My mind dictates what is right. No absolute truth except my mind, very subjective. Everyone did what was right in their own eyes. And their exemption, one of them is Ruth. Now here, we say Ruth because he's so in love. Oh, by the way, the key word for Ruth is love story. They live in the second story, Boaz and Ruth. They live on the first story. They have their honeymoon on the second story. But the reality is the love story. Huh? Yeah. First story, second story, love story. And we see the, the picture of a kinsman redeemer into the picture. Say, we say loving root. Say together, loving root. Loving. And so we put our hand like this in our heart. Say, loving root. With your expression, huh? Loving root. With a gentle smile and a sweet smile, huh? To your seatmate, something. Loving root. <laughs> okay. Exempted yan. Isa pa. I see Samuel. Okay? That ends the third, okay? Or, third na ba yan? Third, okay, uh, uh, column started with Joshua and ended with loving root. Ba, yung mukha ninyo parang kahali-halina, di ba? Brother Norman, parang nainlab ka ulit kay Sister Gurley. Loving root. <laughs> Alright, let's all stand. Joshua, okay? One, two, ready. Tignan ko yung expression ng mukha ninyo, ha? Okay, one, two, ready, begin.
Wow. Thank you. Now, Samuel or the baby Samuel was an answer to prayer by his mom. Okay? It was a struggle for Hannah, the mother of Samuel. We know the story in 1 Samuel, chapter 1, go on to chapter 2. We read about the struggle of this young mom. Okay? How she felt that she had been abandoned by God. You know, the concept of not having a child or children, you are cursed by God. Why? Because God has closed your womb. Yun ang prevailing mindset ng mga tao nun. Kung wala kang anak, God has forgotten you. So, this mom, Hannah, prayed. In the, in, 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 in the depth of her heart, he, she, she really poured her heart in that house of the Lord. There's, wala pang templo nun, but uh, Eli and his household, especially his two sons, ministered in the house of, of the Lord. And, and uh, her husband visited the house of the Lord every year, annually. And then, always, every year, I believe, Hannah poured her heart to God. Lord, give me a son. Give me a child. If you do, I will give it back to you and dedicate this boy to you. We know the story. Hannah fulfilled her promise to God. When was the last time that you made an oath to God? Lord, if I receive my 13-month pay early, Huh? No? I will call my friends. No? And share something. No? When was the last time you make a promise to God? Uh, we heard that. Many people testify. They're making oath to God. Lord, kung pagalingin mo ako, marami eh. Lord, if I pass this exam, marami eh. Lord, if you allow me to go abroad to work, Lord, I will pay back. No, I will give you back. We don't know. We don't question their conviction, by the way. But here's Hannah. She fulfilled her promise. We know the story. Okay? And when the, the, the baby Samuel born, Hannah expressed to God that he has a God who hears his, her prayers. And so he says, Samuel, parang you, you try to, uh, your ears like a listening, okay? And say, Samuel, Samuel, rubbing, loving root all together. Connect that uh, step, loving root, Samuel. These people were were identified as they never compromised their lives in that dark period of judges, that everyone did what was right in his own eyes. Samuel, and so Samuel was a very I, I, itinerant preacher. We know that. Okay? Uh, he's a good pastor. He's a good missionary. In fact, uh, he's a circuit preacher, by the way. And he led the people to God. Uh, because the times of Eli, the word of God was rare. Now, God raised up Samuel. By the way, I think, I only surmise that Samuel was a world teacher. Mm -hmm. You believe that? World teacher. <laughs> Natatawa ko. Siguro ano kayong ginagawa nitong Samuel na ito para nagtuturo. Ano? No? You, you read the story no? about Samuel. He performed. But by the way, there is there's something that happened in his family. You know the story of Samuel when he became old and the people of Israel wanted and demanded a king. And say, they went to Samuel, you know this in the story of our crucible material, and the people of God said, the Israelites said, you are old, and your sons didn't walk in your ways. Now, appoint us a king to lead us. You know the story? Shameful thing that happened in the life of Samuel. Ako, I'm reflecting on that. Eh. You, will be good, you will be a good pastor or missionary, but if you neglect your family, Tapos. Tapos ka. Uh -huh. 
Oh, by the way, what's the difference between complete and finish? <laughs> How among you here can distinguish between uh, complete and finish? Ito yon, Pastor Norman, ha? Huh? If you marry the right person, you are complete. If you marry the wrong person, you are finished. <laughs> the people of Israel moved from the time of Judges for about 400 years. You sum up the total number of years. Each of these Judges ruled it amounts to 400 years plus. They are moving out from that and now they are moving towards what we call monarchy. They wanted to okay, elect and appoint a king. So, United Kingdom was established. Okay? United Kingdom. Okay? Say United Kingdom. One, two, ready, go. United so, we just put our hands like this together. United Kingdom. United Kingdom. And there are three kings, 40 years each. The first king, King Saul. How do you describe King Saul? No heart. What else? What other things that you observe? He, he was a classic example of good starter, but for penis. He was disqualified too. We know the story. Okay? What else? Tall. He stood above all shoulders. Okay? According to King James' text. And that why, that's why he is a king material. He should lead the people of God to battle. He's tall. He's strong, okay? And uh, Samuel based his decision on image, not on character. Okay, that's why he failed. So say, King Saul. Okay, Saul, okay, Saul, one, three, Saul, no heart. Say, Saul, okay, no heart. Again, Saul, no heart. The second king of the monarchy was David. How do you describe David. He was, you know that well. He was a man after God's own heart. Now, review. Please, this is our assignment. Okay? Could you pinpoint the reference where it says this description that David was a man after God's own heart? Is this being said before he fell into sin or after he fell into sin? That he was a man after God's own heart. Is this being said before he fell into sin? Or after he fell? Aha, uh -huh, that is a challenge to look at it, huh? Because I have an answer for that. Mm -hmm. uh -huh. Now, listen. Before no, he fell into the sin of adultery and murder, that was being said about him. Uh -huh. He has chosen already a man after God's own heart. Okay? And then it was repeated again, even after he fell into those kinds of sins. David, whole heart. Sabi natin ay, David, whole heart. Okay, Saul, Saul, And the last king of the monarchy is Solomon. Okay, how do you describe Solomon? Galing nyo ah. How can you manage that? 1,000 wives. 700 wives, of course, and 300 concubines. I cannot imagine this. No, it's a, we call it a nightmare for Solomon. How he would celebrate Mother's Day. My back up, John. He gave really a bunch of roses, no? Carts pulled by horses or drawn by horses. No? We know that. He has a backup orchard. Read Ecclesiastes. No? There's a beautiful orchard out there. Okay? Hindi lang naman tigis ang rosas noon. Yung bans noon. Napahari ka? Tigis sa lang? Na? Hindi talaga namang madadami yan. But his heart was done away from God. We call this the idols of the heart. By the way, friends, Think of this and reflect deeply on this. Idols may, may be hidden in our hearts. Idols may be hidden in our hearts. Idols are not only those things that are being displayed or adored or worshipped outside, 
But there is what we call idols of the heart. Just examine your heart. And I will, I will do the same, friends. What are in there in my heart? In my heart that I consider idols. That comes in between in my worship, in my adoration, in my service with God. Solomon was devastated by this. That's why he's drawn away. No? And he still want to you know, pursue God's will for, for his life, for his kingdom. But his heart is not sold out for God. Why? Because his heart is divided. So say, Solomon. Okay? Solomon, Solomon. Um, half heart. Half heart. Okay? Samuel, one, two, ready, go. Samuel. Then... kingdom split into two because of that. We know the transition of that supposed to be to continue on the United Kingdom. Rehoboam, his son, should supposed to be the key uh, personality now continuing the, the monarchy as one kingdom. But there was a great divide. Upon hearing these beautiful suggestions from his uh, advisors, he chose the other way around. Instead of listening to them, not to put on heavy taxes okay, on them, to the people, his subjects, he even increased. Okay? And so the people were burdened, and the 12 tribes, no, the 10 tribes, moved from that central government, and they set up a new kingdom. We call this the Northern Kingdom. We call it Israel. They retain their, they, their name Israel. And the two the tribes remain in Jerusalem. And they choose one of those two tribes, the, big, the, the bigger one, Judah, as the name of the new nation that has been split. So, sabi natin ay divided kingdom. One, two, ready, go. Divided kingdom. Those divided kingdoms, kingdoms, both, the northern kingdom and the southern kingdom, Israel and Judah, they had kings that are mostly bad kings. And say, mostly bad kings. Mostly bad kings. I do believe that the heart posture of a leader as he engages to lead a nation lies on the integrity of the heart. So sabi natin, mostly bad kings. Mostly bad kings. So, prophets speak, okay? Okay, prophets, speak. Okay, dahan-dahan lang, malumanay lang, hindi mabilis. No? Okay, prophets, prophets speak. God raised up prophets, okay, to bring God's message to the people. There are two roles of prophets then. One is to what? Pronounce judgment and warning to the people of God. Number two, they provide and give consolation to people that even though they are being dispersed or they are being uh, taken as captives and yet God will bring about His promise to them. What an encouragement that God will fulfill His promise no matter what happens. Two roles are prophets. Okay? They pronounce judgment and they speak what? Blessing and encouragement to people. That's why we say prophets speak. One to ready, go. Prophets speak. Okay, with that, uh, we have now 32. Let's all stand and review. Okay, when you review, uh, speak out loud para makuha sa review natin. Okay, creation until prophets speak. Okay, four groups. Okay, are you ready? Presence of mind. Okay, one, two, ready, begin.